Good morning. It is new mold day, which seems to be happening a lot lately. But uh, what this is, is a shell um, bowl, if you will. It just looks like a big shell. And so I'm going to be I'm, I'm, basically, I'm going to be being really cliche today, and we're going to do a sort of a watery scene, beachy, watery thing. So in my cup over here, I have about two and a half-ish ounces of my Fooey Tim one to one And our first layer, I am going to be adding these iridescent uh, pebbles very small little pebbles. I got them at uh, Michael's Craft Store, uh, but you can find them at your, you know, crafting venue of choice. So I've got a teeny tiny spoon, and I'm just going to be chucking them in there, essentially. get our pearl white in there. Just a couple, you know, two, three, four. Just to give it a little bit of sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. And I'm adding the doodads, um, little pebbles to the resin to hopefully you know, keep them from uh, getting air bubbles around them down at the bottom. So now we're going to spray. Okay, give it our obligatory tap and squish. Okay, so now I'm just going to let this um, semi-cure. I don't want it to cure completely. Hi. Um, because a i think it would actually look kind of cool if you poured the next layer um when it was still a little bit squishy so the colors kind of mix together you know um and i really don't want a massive harsh line like a witness line around uh, the clear and uh, the next layer which is most likely going to be blue um so that's that and i will give everything a little bit of a cleanup around here and i will see you for the next layer see you soon all right so we are back and this has been sitting for about an hour or so and it's gotten nice and squidgy um it's very gelatinous at this point so i've got another two ounces of my uh, resin and I'm going to be adding just a couple of drops of my uh, Ranger alcohol ink in cobalt and I'm also going to be adding a tiny bit of my eye candy glimmer ghost blue if I turn on the light you might be able to see better just a teeny tiny little bit Oops. 
so it's gonna level out in the mold once it has a chance to move around and everything and then when that is all settled down just going around making sure I don't have any bubbles just give it a tap and a squidge but if we do have bubbles it's okay it's water water has bubbles said it a hundred times water has bubbles so go ahead let that do its thing and then we will be back for the next step see you soon all right time for next steps um, and just to test the squishiness of the resin see how thick it had gotten the blue layer I stuck a couple of shells and a starfish in here to see if they would sink and they're not so um, I am mixing up right now three ounces of resin and I am going to add just a drop of my uh, Ranger alcohol ink in Glacier because I just want it the palest of colors. Just a hint, a suggestion of color. Nothing major. I'll get that mixed in. And then I am adding some sand, just decorative craft sand. It's the brown kind. I uh, just got this big old bucket of sand from uh, Michael. So. Bit of room which is good got a little bit of cleanup here to do so I'm grabbing my Lysol wipes not sponsored I use these to clean up my tools and my mat but not my molds some bubbles because they are legion and just wipe off the outside there all right so I will see you guys when this is all ready to go <laughs> see you soon D mold time D mold time D mold time yay all right, so let's find a point of entry. Here, aha. See how this turned out with our layers. And this mold is very soft and it's very flexible. So I'm gonna try to up and over the rim. Make all sorts of fun noises while I'm doing it. Despite its weird shape, it is quite simple to demold, so yay. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. So the sand migrated.
through the water, but I'm fine with that. It does that. Look. All the shells, and you can see the sand through the water. That looks really cool. I like that a lot. You can see some of the shells poking through, and they're a little starfish. That looks very neat. I like that a lot. And in the tips is where the um, little iridescent bubbles landed. I don't know if I can show that real well, but can you see what I mean? Where all the iridescent bubbles landed. So cute, super cute. I like it. I'll try a little less sand next time. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope you like it. Just a cute little project. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. And I will see you again for the next one. Take care. Cheers.